We all set, I guess? We all set? I think we're on the air. I think we're on the air. Hey. I don't know, I don't even have a countdown in the back. But... Are we all set? Okay, welcome to Face the Facts. I'm Nick Face. I don't know what's going on there, but anyway, welcome. First of all, let's start down the line. We have Evan Smartridge, new kid on the block. Uh, <laughs> we pushed you to the second chair. Ryan Tepet. E money. Bert to my left, and then Joe Harvey to his left. So we're Bert ready to start here. Ball. All right, we have a lot, a lot of topics to talk about because there's so much there's going on here in our New England area. What better things to start to start than with the Red Sox? Because the Red Sox are going to the American League Championship Series versus who? The Cleveland Indians. Not the Yankees. What a big surprise. Good. But first no, of all, let's just surprise. say... The Yankees got their ass kicked. Not a big they surprise. did. They did. The Yankees did not play well. We'll get to the Yankees story in a little bit. But first of all, what about the Angels? There's no Halo Magic left. No. There really isn't. Well, I mean, they played, they played good baseball during the regular season, but you got to think who's in that division. They have Oakland. Uh, Seattle. I mean, Seattle played good ball, but... Oakland was awful this year. Exactly. Seattle, they tailed off at the end. There's not much competition out there, and they walked. They pretty much walked away with the, the division. What division do you think has the most talent? I'd say the AL East, only because I mean, once the you, top two teams, the Red Sox, teams, Yankees, are I, always there. Exactly. But you also have other teams. AL you know, Central. You have the, the Central, which the Central has the Twins. Well, the Central is actually. Yeah, twins. The White, the White Sox, but what happens with and them? And even with Detroit, them? even the Tigers. Right. Right. Tigers and play. And of course, our Cleveland Indians. Yeah, but the, the level of talent that's in Boston and New York, I think, trumps AL Central. And because, mm -hmm. I mean, that, the level of talent that's on those two teams <laughs> is incredible. Actually, do you know, I, they had an interesting stat that the uh, Red Sox have won, I think it's eight consecutive playoff games against the Angels in a row, if you date back to 1986. Really? That, that series. So uh, that's, a, that's a very nice, um, very nice info there. Um, how about Manny Ramirez and David Ortiz? I know Look you at love the, that. What'd you say? I heard you loved it. Loved what? Manny's walk-off. Oh, who didn't? No, we got <laughs> One o'clock in the wait. morning, face are going we crazy. Play, we won't play it. We, we, won't, we won't play any tapes that we have. It. I got it. Da David Ortiz and Manny Ramirez were outstanding in this series. I mean, they both, Manny with the walk-off home run, and then David got everything started. David Ortiz much is hitting. Home runs. I mean, he's just. Unbelievable. And right then, you know what impressed me the most is he's hitting the ball. They're putting the shift on him, and he's hitting the ball to left field. And he's getting Can you singles. imagine what his average and his power numbers would be without that shift? It'd be incredible. Yeah. He'd, he'd break Ted Williams' record for 406. I don't think that, but. Well, yeah. if, uh, this year, look at his, how high his average he gets was. This year. He gets walked he, too he much. Never, he never gets. He has never had an average that high, which is 335 this year, by the way. I mean, yeah. he just had a great wow. season. A lot of people just say. You know, that Ortiz tailed off a little bit. Yeah, in the middle because his leg was hurt, and he's going to have to have surgery at the end of the season. But still, he battled his way through, and he showed how he can he produce. As long as he hits home runs in the World Series, that's okay. That will be First okay. time they went back-to-back -back this year. I was going to bring that up, too. That's the first time all year Manny and Ortiz have gone back-to-back. -back. That's pretty ridiculous, though. I, I, I thought... I, I couldn't. I, know, I was surprised well, actually when we, I heard that. Yeah, think about that. We did have the back to back to back to back because yeah. of all the times they've oh, done yeah. it before and nothing. And that was against season. the Yankees on Sunday Night Baseball. Insane. The four. The That's four. right. Yeah. And Drew was involved. Surprisingly. Yeah, that was. Who was it? Drew. <laughs> Drew Veritek. Drew Veritek. Drew Veritek Lowell, Lowell, and, and Ramirez. Maybe. Yeah. And not even Ortiz was in there. So. Oh. Unbelievable. Was, okay. Right now, I'm going to talk. Well, let's talk about the starting pitching versus the bullpen. What do you think is <clears throat> the biggest strength the Red Sox have? Is it the starting pitching or is it the bullpen? I think it's the hitting, but if we're going to go from pitching... It's definitely not the hitting compared to the other, other teams that they've, they've had over the years. Uh, nine, nine to one? I'm talking about all together right now. I think, what is well, their nine to one? Past, You're not going to talk about that. In that, that past series, if you think just this past year, I think the hitting was their strength, but also starting pitching was unbelievable. Starting pitchers got us seven, seven innings a game. Mm -hmm. and that's huge. And then look what happened in game two. You know, Matsuzaka had an okay start he didn't do spectacular he didn't do he didn't do bad he didn't do he didn't do spectacular i like that word but lopez came in got the job done okajima came in del carmen and end it all out mr automatic jonathan papelbon manny, manny del carmen actually pitched automatic. Pretty, pretty well i think he did when he came in he pitched real well he's been a big big surprise for my, in my opinion this year because i mean last year remember him and hansen they weren't yeah but it was shaky but no i think manny's picked it up Recently, no question. Earlier, earlier in the season, 
I think it was the Toronto series where he came in and he just absolutely was awful. Mm -hmm. He's throwing that straight fastball. Frank Thomas hit a jack off of him. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, I mean, he's come a long way, and I think it's good that he's finally peaking. Another guy, another guy that we've seen pick up the slack a little bit in the pen is Mike Timlin. I mean, a lot of people say this guy, he's a bum. Get him out of here. Well, he's been but here before. Yeah. He's, he's been here before. Experience. He's done it, and he's still doing it at the age of 41. So, I think he's, that's a plus he's, as he's well. He's more of a... He's